Today's lesson is on ciphers. So what is a cipher? A cipher is a specific mathematical process used in encryption and decryption. There are many ciphers and they all operate differently. In this case, we are going to talk about substitution ciphers and transposition ciphers. Substitution ciphers can be compared with transposition ciphers. In a transposition cipher, the units of the plain text are rearranged in a different and usually quite complex order, but the units themselves are left unchanged. By contrast, in a substitution cipher, the units of the plain text are retained in the same sequence in the ciphertext, but the units themselves are altered. Let me show you exactly how they work. So I'll show you an example of how to use a transposition cipher, which is also called the rail fence cipher. So here you have a plain text called Hello World. So you can use a two column type where you break the word up into two columns. H-E, L-L, O-W, O-R, and L-D. So here you have a two column type, and then as a ciphertext, you can read it as H-L-O-O-L-E-L-W-R-D. So here is going to be your ciphertext. So here you have your plain text and your key and then your ciphertext. So your first plain text is N and your first key is 4. So what, you want, what you're going to want to do is go to the letter N and then since your key size is 4, move down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you get R. Your next plain text is O, and your next key length is 8. So go to O, and then move down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you get W. And then W, key 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you get L. I, key length 16, so here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So your next cipher text is Y. Next plain text is S, key length 23. So S, we move down 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And you get a cipher text of P. So this is just an example of how you use a substitution cipher.